Hey y'all, Dan with the Southern Paddle Channel here. Got my brother Dave, Alabama Floats. What's up? We are on the Buffalo River near Waynesburg, Tennessee. And we are about to do... 16, Six? 17 miles. What was it? 17, something like that. 16. Overnight. Overnight, that's the that's key. All that that's the key phrase. We're doing an overnight camping trip on the Buffalo River. It's gonna be 16, 17 miles. So uh, we're at... Uh, what we believe is Trace Creek. Just got dropped off. We're getting our gear loaded up and secured and gonna hit the water. Alabama Float's gonna do some fishing as he always does. I'm just gonna kind of hang out. I have not done this section of Buffalo. This first uh, nine or so miles from here down to Topsy Bridge, I have never done before. Not that I remember, <laughs> uh, but it'll, the latter half I have. So it'll be interesting. Alabama Floats, what do you think? I'm ready, man. All right. See what happens. Let's do it. All right. See what? Things loaded down. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna take a little getting used to. I can imagine. Force field is at 75% strength. It looks like there may be a rock in the middle of this thing. Right. So stay a little left of the fluffy stuff. Do what? First challenge of the day. That's right, yes sir. Nailed it.
percent strength. Well, we're about two hours in and about two miles in. Well, we're taking our time. Alabama floats is fishing. Uh, I stopped once, already had me a sandwich. We started about 11.45, so it was right around lunchtime. So we went maybe not quite a mile. He found a good fishing hole. I pulled off on the other side, had a sandwich. And then, uh, and when we started, they handed us these uh, instructions. And it, it told us that, uh, let's see if I can find them here real quick. Yeah. And it's a little note that, you know, said, okay, you'll see some cabins on the right, then the left, and, you know, half a mile down past the last ones. Um, there's a rock ledge, stay right, the ledge will sink you, trap your boat. Uh, we're two miles, and, you know, and I figured, based on the instructions, it looked like it was going to be about a mile and a half in. Like I said, I'm two miles in, I hadn't seen anything like that, so I don't really know what's uh, going on with that. But, anyway... I told Alabama Floats I'd go ahead, look for it, and then pull off and wait for them there. I hadn't seen anything, but found a good place to stop here in the shade. Good little swimming hole, already been for a dip, so just uh, cooling off and waiting for him. And uh, so he'll get caught up here, and then we'll go on down the river. Force field is at 25% strength. Force field failure imminent. Hey all. This is a rock undercut <laughs> with current. Um, this is what the instructions was warning about for this section of the river. Um, if you saw my video from a couple of weeks ago, where I got into a very similar situation downstream from here, there's another one. There probably wasn't this much current, and that one caught me just because I wasn't paying attention. This one, there's a lot of current here, and you can tell and see all that current is going directly under that rock ledge. So if you come through here with your boat, it's going to push you real hard up under that ledge. And when it does, it's going to turn you over and pin your boat up under there. And it's going to be really, really hard, if not impossible, to get out. And it's going to be really dangerous, too, if you're in there with it. So that's why they're telling you to avoid this, tell you to go river right. I went, scraped a little bit, but got through. But uh, I'm glad that they're telling people that because, you know, when you look at the river, you can see the current, more currents coming this way. So... You're going to tend to want to stay this way so you don't have to drag and get out, whatever. But uh, if you do, the problem is that, see how shallow it is right here? So it's, it's a, there's enough water to float your kayak or canoe through here, but there's not really enough water for you to get a good bite with your paddle to control where you're going. And you're going to bump and scrape and just basically slide down that thing and be at the mercy of the water. The next thing you know, you're going to be under that rock ledge. So this is... Uh, Kind of a tricky spot but man you look upstream from here whoo isn't that gorgeous wow love this river so pretty all right so downstream uh don't mind the tire there sorry about that see my boat pulled up on a gravel bar waiting for alabama floats and uh when he gets here i'll make sure that he goes uh, right like i did i told him i'd wait for him at the spot and then we'll go on down the river Keep a little angle to the right, and that's all, you'll be fine. Well, I meant this side of the tire, right side. You said you're right. Ah, oh, well, you're fine. <laughs> oh, it's on the right. <laughs> Sorry, I was, guess I was talking about my right. Yeah, gotcha. Hey, good spot to fish, isn't it? Huh? I said good spot to fish, yeah, maybe.
Man, it's such a pretty river. Oh, it is. Man, that was almost bad. I say left looks like a yeah, a little more. Right, you're gonna be that yeah, yeah, that left looks a little more direct. Go ahead. Abort. 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 Communication failure. Force field failure. Force field failure. Mission complete. when you went through between those two trees yeah and I, it's kicked me over to the right and i caught that one last like bunch of roots yeah and I'm back in and caught it up it snapped my pole off oh did it yeah when i was going through those trees Dude, yeah. I, just, I didn't it didn't look that fast it did yeah it didn't look and i didn't really see anything hanging no, over it no. i mean as i'm going through i heard snap and fortunately of course i keep them tethered so i had to reel it in through my cord but i'll tell you well not to mention it, yeah, not to Poles too, rail blaze poles. All right, so we just had a little incident. Going through a couple of root balls and stumps or something in the water. I don't even know what happened. Um, it looked like it was clear, but I snapped off my pole. Um, fortunately, my camera was tethered. That's the one I'm, I'm using now, so that's okay. <clears throat> the worst of it though was uh. Alabama floats got caught up in it and uh, it turned him over and uh, he lost some gear. And I got several items that had floated down this way, but uh, he's got some stuff that we're probably not gonna get back. Uh, and that sucks. So, but he's got his paddle. 
and I've got his camp stuff, camping gear, so that's good. Um, but he lost some rods, tackle boxes, and um, I don't know right now. That's uh, but anyway. All right, so we're gonna try to regroup here. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably 4:30. Uh, it's five. It's a little after five. Um, we were trying. It's a little after. It's a little after five. We we're trying to make some miles up and get as much done as we could. Um, try to get some miles behind us today, so tomorrow would be a shorter, easier day. And uh, just hit that little snag. And uh, anyway sucks but uh we're okay and uh so we'll uh, like i said we're gonna regroup here and uh get back on the water shortly